I thought it was spring. I'm going to need this. Today is Wednesday. My truck has been at the shop since Monday. Uh, we're getting a leak fixed on my fuel tank right now. They've got to weld it to fix it. Not too sure exactly how that's going to work. We'll find out when we get it back. But they're the professionals in that area. So it's day three of the truck being in there. And I miss it. Here we are at home. I'll explain this in a second. There's your explanation. Okay, maybe I was being a bit dramatic. I don't actually need this. It's not that cold. It's all melting already, but we clearly got snow last night. Hooray. Second half of April. <laughs> oh, Manitoba. What do you think? It's my new glasses. They came in fast. Like that was almost, when was I in here? It's Thursday when I'm filming this today. We're still waiting for my truck to be repaired or the fuel tank. So it's Thursday today. We ordered these on, oh no, I guess it was Monday. Okay, so it's been a couple of days. Oh, this time's been flying by really quickly. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, three days. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So they have this uh, like ability to bend, right? In every direction. Is it going to focus on the... Like, look at that. So when Theo grabs my glasses, in theory, they shouldn't break off as easy, right? Now, I hope that they're... They seem to be curved right already, but I can always come in and get them to adjust them for free. I really like them. And <laughs> the thing that my wife hates the most, <laughs> she hates clip-on shades. I don't know what she's got against them, but... Uh, Oh, 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 I don't even know how to put them on. <laughs> oh, they don't fit properly. Oh, there we go. There we go. I think they look pretty good. What do you think? Like, that is convenient. Just use the same glasses. So I'm keeping my old pair of glasses, which are right here. These are my old glasses and, uh, they're all scratched up already, but I'm gonna use them for work when I'm working outside the truck, loading freight, pulling bungees for my tarps, tarping loads. So I'll still use these. But the scratches were driving me nuts already, especially the one on my left eye where the bungee had hit it. There's like this big scuff right in the middle of my eyesight. Driving me nuts. So that is very nice. These glasses in Canadian dollars cost, uh, $300 for the frames and another $180 for the lenses plus tax. And these are just magnet. They came with it. As far as I know, they weren't extra or anything, but yeah. So I'm pretty sure they're adjusted properly. I mean, like I said, I can always get them adjusted in the back here for free. Uh, I got these at not doing an ad or anything, but, uh, they deserve a shout out. I, I'm, I got this done at Anderson Vision. Anderson, was it called? Anderson Family Vision Care. In Steinbeck here, it's right on Main Street. And uh, they did a very good job. I'm trying to figure out how these, like, how these go in here. I think they go all the way down like that, but then they're not fully covered, right? Because then you can still see the, the lenses here. Just off on the side, right? It's supposed to go in the other way? Maybe this way? No. No, that'll be like this. I don't know how often I'll use those because I have my other prescription shades already too, right? Those are Oakleys. But I'm happy with them. I, I am. I feel like they might be a little... I don't know. I got to get used to them, right? I got to get used to them. We'll see how they do. It's so nice to not have any scratches in my vision. That is... And they look exactly like my other ones from the front. You go to the side, you see that blue though? I love that color. I love that color. It's wonderful. All right, 
let's get going. Yeah, Diesel. Got good news, man. My truck's ready. So I just got the email oh, about a half hour ago saying that my truck is all set, ready to go. We're going to head out there right away and go pick it up, get in the shop and get ready. I've told the office now that my truck is ready to go. So there won't be anything today. It's already uh, end of day, but 20 after five. We have to pick up the truck before six. So we gotta get going, but I'm expecting, uh, hopefully tomorrow, some freight will show up that needs to be hauled. I can go throw it on a trailer and take off with it. Try and make some money back that I spent this week. We got her back. So there was a fluid leak underneath the truck on this side here. And this was the big thing that we brought it in for here. The leak underneath this fuel strap, you can see that they welded a new piece underneath there. And they did a very good job. side was already done uh, when I bought the truck. This side had already been done at a different date. See this here? Fantastic. They did a good job. They always do. PBX Truck Service. Peter Bill Steinbeck. I gotta get out of this tight spot I'm in. I'm in kind of a a really tight spot here. I'll see you at the shop. Back where you belong, Blue. Well, you actually belong on the road with a loaded trailer behind you, but at least you're home now, right? These are the winter tires uh, from my wife's vehicle. I've got to clean them off and uh, refinish them. They were getting a little bit rusty. My tarps here, I'll throw them back here again when I'm leaving, probably tomorrow. And we'll take one more look at those welds. Looks good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Fantastic. Okay, let's go home. Good to have you back, Blue. So now that my truck is ready to go, we've got our son put to bed, and I've got to get everything ready. So all of my laundry needs to be folded, Everything needs to be brought to the door so that if I get the call tomorrow morning that I can just load up the pickup and go. So that I'll be ready. Because if I'm not ready and they give me the call in the morning, it takes me an hour and a half, two hours to get everything ready. And that cuts into the time. If I have a load that needs to be picked up tomorrow, uh, I need to get there as quickly as possible, right? And it already takes me some time to get my stuff from the house here to the truck, into the truck, get the truck running, warmed up, get to my trailer, hook onto my trailer, and then get to the shipper. That already takes some time. So if I add on preparing all this stuff on top of that yet, oh, I could get the call at like eight in the morning and I'd only get to be at my shipper at like noon, one o'clock. So I mean, it would still work. But just like to be as prepared as possible. So get everything ready tonight and we'll wake up tomorrow morning and see what the load gods have to offer us. Good morning, Shady. It's the next morning now. Still haven't received any phone calls. So getting the dogs taken care of this morning and wake up our boy right away, to get him taken care of. Uh, I'm gonna call into work right away, see what plans they have. Or if anything's come up, I don't, I don't know if anything will, because it's so late in the week already. Today, I said yesterday was Thursday in the vlog, I meant yesterday was Wednesday. Today is Thursday. So, I mean, by the time I get going, I mean, there may not be anything available at this time of the week. Because anything I'd pick up today would have to deliver tomorrow or Monday. 
So, because of that, I may just be stuck at home until next week. If that's the case, that's the way it is. It's no one's fault. Truck had to get fixed. We'll make it work, but I'll give him a call and see what happens. Looks like I'll be home for a couple more days, Chevy. What do you guys think? Are you okay with that? So I got the call back and uh, I have a load scheduled for Sunday. I'm leaving Sunday, delivering Monday in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. So I'll be home for a couple more days yet, which I'm not too upset about. I'm kind of enjoying this time at home and having this extra time with the family. So today is Thursday when I'm filming this. This is Friday, Saturday, and then I'll leave Sunday midday, mid-morning. I'll wake up with Theo and uh, get him ready for the day. And I'll probably try to leave my shop by about no later than noon, 11 a.m. or noon. So that'll give me an extra couple of days to fully settle into this office. That all needs to go. I got some shelving up here that needs to be organized. But I am liking being located for like the office, the computer and everything up here a lot better. I just feel a lot more connected to the home, to the house. The office being downstairs sort of, when you're on two different levels, you sort of feel disconnected from everything. Uh, this way, we're upstairs most of the time anyway. I don't know, I've just been liking it, but now I've got some time to work on this a little bit longer. So that's it for today's video. We're pretty much, we're just waiting to hear what what's coming next. So there'll be a little bit more home time content coming before we get back on the road. So a heads up for you guys who aren't into that, but the majority of you still tune in. I appreciate that. So you can sort of see what the life is like when I'm not on the road as well. I'll see you later, everybody. Stay safe out there and drive safe. Keep your stick on the ice. I miss trucking, so I'm gonna go play some American Truck Simulator right now. <laughs> Cause what else do I do on my time off, right? drive truck virtually.